Welcome, Professor Metternich, to our Learning Factory. Yeah, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. I would like to show you a little bit around. Uh, so let me give you an overview about our topic. Our topic is LEAD, LEAD Factory. LEAD means uh, Lean Management, Energy Efficiency, Agile Production and Digitalization. And what we are doing here is that the, the students are working actually by themselves in our factory. So what do they do? They produce a product. Our product is a scooter. It's a scooter you can get uh, uh, everywhere, uh, a scooter with roughly 60 parts. And uh, we uh, branded it as a TU Graz scooter. And you only can get the scooter by working in our learning factory. So uh, we have lots of requests, but I, I tell the students, you have to come to our learning factory, you have to screw and work. And afterwards, you can buy one of those. Okay. It's an interesting product, but it's always the challenge for Learning Factory to choose the right product. Why did you choose this one? Well, we had a long discussion, uh, uh, maybe choosing a not that complex product, but uh, because our university has a, um, a focus on mobility and production, I also wanted to convince my colleagues in the mobility area, you know, the car people and the aircraft people. So I wanted to come up with a product which you can actually use and uh, drive around and, and have attention uh, so that we spread around the idea of learning factories. So obviously the focus is more on assembly and not so much on machining? Is that on purpose? It's mainly, mainly on assembly. We have an assembly factory, but uh, as you can see here, uh, we also uh, have a little 3D printer and an oven, but I want to show you that in our initial state right on the corner. Let's go in here and I'll show you. Yes. So here you can see again our product, the scooter. Actually, it's, it's really working, by the way. So you can drive around and it's quite fun. <laughs> Looks like. <laughs> That's our scooter. And, uh, and here the students, uh, what they uh, learn is they get to know the product. They, they, they have some um, ideas about, or they get ideas how to screw the product together, how to assemble the product. Like in an assembly station, this is one of eight assembly stations, uh, the working place two, as you can see here. We have a uh, description, very simple description. They are not, not very nice. Uh, you know, the tools are laying around. We have our, our um, uh, suppliers and, and, and then they start uh, to to assemble the product. So we have uh, up to 16 students in the, in the session. Eight students are working, one on each working place, and eight are observing and checking how they are doing, basically. Who is the target group of your learning factory? Is the target group only students, or do you collaborate with industry, and do you bring them in here? Well, mainly uh, the learning factory was designed for uh, education for students at our university. But uh, from beginning on, we also do trainings for companies. So I would say every second month or so, we, we have a company here where we do trainings for companies who want to set up a lean factory. And who are the trainers in your learning factory? The trainers are my PhDs, by the way. Uh, that's the reason why I don't want to, uh, to, to do too much trainings, because they have to finish their PhD work, their doctoral thesis. Good. So this is the wasteful condition. This is the wasteful condition. Uh, they, they learn how to do it. Uh, they have maybe already some ideas how to do it better. And the students get a theoretical input in a seminar room. Uh, and then uh, they come back here and check how Pokeyoke or some other uh, uh, things are, are working. Okay. And can they also change this wasteful condition into a wasteless condition or less waste condition? Exactly. Now we go to a kind of a future state. Uh, so step by step, they change the configuration. Uh, we stop the time, we stop the energy consumption, and they experience uh, how it's getting better, like in your learning factory in, uh, in Darmstadt. So let me show you uh, a future state, uh, a lean future state, out on this picture here. And uh, I show you how that looks like. You see here already uh, a one-piece flow, uh, a, a nice material flow. You see here the Kanban racks, a high Juncker board to steer the whole situation. 
uh, that's our 3D printer, where we print actually a part uh, within uh, like three minutes or so, or two minutes, I don't know exactly. But uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a showcase that you don't need to print 10 hours, you can also print for a few minutes uh, within, the, within the workflow. You see here also um, uh, not air pressure machines and tools, but uh, electrical uh, drivers, screwdrivers, and, uh, and that's energy efficient. Who supported you in constructing and, and building all this? Did you have help? Yeah, definitely we had help. Uh, we had several people helping us uh, in companies. Uh, for example, we, we thought like we want to do it uh, for, with an industry standard. So we decided to go for the expensive uh, Rexroad uh, Rex, for example. Um, we got uh, Hilti as a supporter for the electrical screwdrivers and uh, some software company who are engaging with us to set up this whole thing. And what are now the digital aspects of this future state? Well, the digital aspects I want to show you in the next room. Here uh, we uh, set up the digital state. Uh, you see here the, basically the same configuration like at the lean future state. You see the one piece flow, you see the Kanban racks uh, and uh, uh, a line balancing where the, where the work content is kind of the same. Uh, and in addition, you see here a digital, uh, um, uh, digital work explanation uh, so that the worker can actually see what he has to do or what she has to do. Um, and actually what we can do is we can also personalize that. So if somebody is a beginner, he get different work instruction uh, than somebody who is an expert, for example. So if you, if you type on that, you can get different uh, 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 pictures. You, you see basically what to do, and, uh, and therefore it's easy to, to train the new employee. It's a personalized working assistant system. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's a personalized work assistant. Also in addition, we have a logistic system where we also track uh, with uh, RFID. Actually, the, the, the backbone of the digital system in our learning factory are the RFID tags. We have uh, uh, at the beginning an RFID tag on this, on this uh, piece. Mm -hmm. There is an RFID antenna here, and that all goes to a central database. Uh, uh, so the product, but also the, the, the parts in that, in that uh, boxes, uh, they are tracked with uh, RFID uh, tags. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if uh, this box is empty, you put the empty box inside here, and there is an RFID antenna, which um, uh, uh, tells the, the central warehouse, which, which is actually on the back here, uh, uh, what to do so that you can refill with a, with, a, um, uh, with a specialist system we developed. Is the one of the parts of this uh, scooter the leading part that has all the information and controls then the assembly process? Exactly. So this is the, the leading part. We start with this part and the tracking system tracks the, the scooter. Actually here you can see already scooter is half finished uh, and the, the uh, RFID tag is, mm. is still here. That's one RFID so, tag in the whole. So the whole product whole is identified by this RFID tag. Exactly. Good. Exactly. Here you can see our uh, Hilti screws, you know, they're, they're uh, easy, ergonomic, uh, held up here. We have end-on lights, uh, who ca which are uh, automatically go to, to red if something goes wrong, or you can also do it uh, manually that you um, do that in that way so that you can get help uh, from outside. Yeah, overall, you can see here on each workplace an own computer, an own system. Um, Going around, you see here the Hayunka board, which uh, steers the whole system. We have uh, not just one scooter variant here. We also have uh, different variations so that the worker knows what to do. The Hayunka board basically tells the worker what to do. We have here also a QR code. For example, uh, with this uh, Microsoft HoloLens, we can also put in work instructions uh, inside the camera so that uh, the a worker can uh, get instructions with this kind of device. Yeah, um, what else can I tell you in the digital state? 
Well, at the end, of course, we uh, we need to pack. So it's not the scooter itself. We need the, mm -hmm. the packaging also. And then here is the pallet for shipping. You also have integrated some 3D printing. Does it meet the line index time? Yes, that's correct. It meets the line index time. Uh, that was the. It, it's a very simple part, as you can see here. So the uh, it's a it's a functional part. So the surface is not very clean and not very simple, but it, it works. And we wanted to demonstrate that, that with a 3D printer, uh, we can also do it in three minutes and don't need 10 hours for printing. Well, I have, I have another question. Oh, yes, please. Uh, we, we can personalize uh, each scooter with a little tag where we can write something on it, your name or something. So at the end, you can leave the scooter with your, with your, with your name. That's a nice idea. We then have in addition some uh, toy, some augmented reality um, um, toy to, to show the performance of the printer, for example. And, uh, and the last thing what I wanted to show you is the uh, digital board, what we have here, the shop floor management board. That's basically the, at the end, this is the, um, the center uh, uh, where you see all the, the things happening in our in our uh, factory uh, more or less real time uh, you can analyze all kinds of things so as you can see here uh, safety record uh, scooter distribution uh, standard personalized uh, you can look into the OEE in detail uh, you can go into the safety area for example and see what was the safety record in the last sessions or uh, open issues if something goes wrong to, to analyze what happened and, and what to do. So overall, we are still not finished. We are in the in progress of digitalization. There are still lots of things to do. You can see here a, a student project with a little camera over there. Mm -hmm. um, if I show you that maybe um, with this, this camera sh shows if this piece is in the right location and when it's in the right location, uh, the timer starts working so you can, you can, that the worker can see if we are in time or not on time. Mm -hmm. So that would also use artificial intelligence maybe? That's a very good idea. Actually students are working on that uh, AI, that's the next level. Um, it looks like we are never finished here. Sure. We have new ideas. Uh, so far we want to keep up with our training package.